Hello, it's Devin here, and this is an update on my Crusader project. It's been a little while, um, and it's really been this basically horde of footmen which has been slowing me down. But what you can see here is what I've been working on. So we've got 48 shields here with um, little, I suppose, freehand heraldry. And it's been a killer. Come on, focus there. It's I'm very happy with the result. And like I've said I've got this 48 shields here, but um, I probably painted 70, 80 lions to to get this many done. Um, I made mistakes along the way. Um, and it really was just kind of like a challenge and I, I'm, I'm really happy with the challenge and the result and but it was a bit soul destroying there for a while I have to say um, yeah these guys have got gloss varnish on them so they're a bit shiny at the moment that's just to protect the lions so um, but that's the shields done um, and if I just pan over here, there is all the footmen primed and based and ready to go. Uh, what I haven't fully decided on yet is the colours. I think I'm going to try and do them like my uh, Crusader Knights, so predominantly blue cloth on the guys. Um, and, and, and you know, they've, they've got different armour there, so the armour will be, you know, browns and maybe some lighter colors for the, the quilted armor there I'll work that through I've sort of struggled with this color scheme which has been really interesting because I kind of like well you're going to be wearing this uniform but then I didn't want them all to be you know wearing the same uniform which is strange when you compare it to my bolt action stuff where it's like well hey they're all wearing camouflage which is basically the same thing but I didn't quite want to apply the same technique here so I've, I'm going to try and have some variations on the blues, lighter blues, darker blues, and see how that goes. Um, I'm not sure, I might try and do a couple of guys who are just wearing uh, red tunics, um, we'll see what that looks like. One of the things that I'm trying to work out, and I haven't decided on this, for the command figures, they come with their shields. But you can see that they're they're a different size. Um, if I sort of lay them out there, you can see that they're a different size. To the other ones now I have plenty of leftover fireforged shields that I could use, and I can just cut these off and make it flat. So I don't know if anyone's got any suggestions out there. What which shields I should use? Um, I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if I want to have like my my champion or my the leader of these guys to have his own heraldry or not. I haven't decided on that either. A lot of indecision with these guys, which has been a little bit frustrating. I've started experimenting with some flesh tones on the the first few guys, um, and I think once I get the first five guys done, I'll know what colours I'm painting, and it'll be it'll move along very quickly. Um, well as quickly as you can paint you know 50 or so guys there um, I've also added in and I'm not sure if they'll go with these guys but these guys are from Gripping Beasts they're the um, monks parading across and I thought how can I have a crusader army who isn't carrying a cross so I've got these guys there's two more if I can pick them up over here I've added them in so I'll paint these guys up for my army um, whether they'll go in this unit or I have a unit of um, uh, knights on foot that I want to do up as well after these guys so that's just sort of an update of where I'm at I know it's been a bit slow of late and, and really all I can say is 48 hand painted heraldry was the killer <laughs> But I'm past that, and if I've got to do another three, I've got to do another three. I'm okay with that. Um, 
but yeah so I mean at the moment I'm leaning towards using the the plastic shields on the on the, the Perry command group but I'm not sure yet I need to decide that in the next you know week so I can really push on with this side of it well that's what I've been up to and um, thanks for listening and watching and I'll talk to you next time